Around 4,000 years ago, there was a man who built a small building for prayer. And when he finished constructing it, he raised his hands and he made the following dua, Rabbana taqabbal minna, innaka anta sami'u al-alim, our Lord, accept this from us. You are the hearing and knowing. The name of that structure is the Kaaba, and its builder was Prophet Ibrahim. This simple structure was constructed by two men, father and son, in the middle of a desolate desert during a very lonely period in human history. Yet this very building would later become the direction of prayer for all of humanity, a place inhabited by angels and the home of blessings and abundance. It is the holiest site on earth, venerated by prophets and messengers, and today is visited annually by millions of people. How did this simple structure become the most sacred and exalted of them all? How was it raised to this level of fame and universal acceptance despite its very modest origins? No doubt that it ultimately boils down to ikhlas, sincerity, and tawfiq, help and assistance from Allah. But you see, when these ingredients are present, expect the butterfly effect. What is the butterfly effect? It's a term that was coined by Edward Lawrence, a meteorologist and mathematician who died in 2008. And this concept makes up part of chaos theory, which is a well-known branch in the field of physics. In simple terms, the butterfly effect is the notion that minute causes will eventually have massive effects. It was initially illustrated by the idea of a butterfly flapping its wings in the Amazonian jungle, which subsequently causes a storm to ravage in Europe. And I will share with you just a few examples of this notion in application. Did you know that in the early 1900s, a young Adolf Hitler applied to study at an art school? It is believed that during this process, he was rejected by a Jewish professor. By his own estimation, which is shared by many historians, this rejection ultimately shaped his metamorphosis from an aspiring bohemian artist to the embodiment of evil. Now, of course, we can only speculate how different history may have unfolded and how much tragedy could have been averted if Hitler had merely limited himself to watercolors. What ultimately happened, however, of course, is the wise Qadar decree of Allah, and this is an example of the butterfly effect. Did you also know that both world wars were sparked off by the mere wrong turning of a car? On the 28th of June 1914, a teenage Bosnian Serb called Gavrilo Princip went to Sarajevo with two other nationalists to assassinate the Archduke Franz Ferdinand who was the immediate heir to the Austro-Hungarian Empire. The initial assassination attempt failed. A bomb exploded beneath the car behind the archduke's and wounded the occupants. So having believed that the plan had failed, the assassin made his way home and stopped off for a sandwich on Franz Joseph Street. Meanwhile, the driver of the archduke was supposed to redirect his vehicle to an expressway to facilitate a high-speed escape. Somehow, however, this crucial message was not properly communicated and the driver made the fatal mistake of turning onto Franz Joseph Street. The assassin, with the sandwich in his hand, realized that a golden opportunity was standing right before him. He rushed towards them and at point-blank range killed both the Archduke and his wife. The assassination sparked a deep political crisis and the superpowers of the world started to blame one another and within one week, World War I was underway. This bitter conflict lasted for about four years and resulted in the death of around 15 million people. This paved the way for a humiliating peace treaty for Germany, which included a guilt clause. This clause required Germany to accept the responsibility of Germany and her allies for causing all the loss and damage during the conflict. The treaty required Germany to pay billions of dollars to the Allies. This humiliating defeat provoked the anger of Germans and sparked a wave of nationalistic fervor in the country. These conditions were vital for enabling the rise of Hitler, whose expansionist ambitions paved the way for the Second World War. Now, this latter conflict was far bloodier than its predecessor and resulted in the loss of around 75 million lives. The Second World War's aftermath immediately led to the Cold War. During this time, there was a global division between East and West, with the United States and Soviet Union being the chief protagonists of the two sides. During this conflict, two different socio-economic systems found themselves engaged in conflict for about half a century. The Soviet Union's decline paved the way for America's ascension as the sole superpower of the world, which had massive repercussions for countries in the Middle East and other parts of the world. And the policies implemented by the United States in the 
the region continue to have effects until this day of ours, all because of the wrong turning of a car. This, of course, is the wise Qadar decree of Allah, and it's a good example, perhaps, of the butterfly. Did you also know that Egypt's course of history changed because of a child who was picked up from a well? Think about it. Prophet Yusuf suffered at the hands of his brothers who conspired to separate him from their father. As a result, this led to Yusuf being cruelly thrown inside of a well. And then the sequence of events followed were amazing. He was found by a passing business caravan which led him to Egypt where he became a slave of the Egypt's chief minister, Al-Aziz. Yusuf would face another trial when the influential wife of Al-Aziz tried to seduce him. Her plots failed. She made a false accusation against him, which led to his unjust imprisonment. One thing led to another. Yusuf's now ability to interpret dreams and his intuition was discovered. This led to a meeting with Egypt's ruler, who urgently needed the interpretation for a dream that he saw. He'd earned the trust of the king. Yusuf had become a powerful minister. He played a crucial role in rescuing Egypt from the devastating effects of a crippling famine, which allowed Yusuf to reunite with his family and siblings in the land of Egypt. And what is fascinating is that this chain of events was activated by a group of jealous men who wanted to kill their younger brother in a park somewhere in Egypt. Isn't it amazing? In fact, well before the term butterfly effect was even coined, the concept was suggested in early English poetic verses, penned during the 14th century, which state, For want of a nail, the horseshoe was lost. For want of a horseshoe, the horse was lost. For want of a horse, the rider was lost. For want of a rider, the battle was lost. For want of a battle, the kingdom was lost, and all for the want of a horseshoe. When we look at these examples, it becomes clear and evident of how fragile our world actually is and how sensitive the events of life are to the smallest stimuli. After all, if the loss of a nail caused the loss of a kingdom and the wrong turning of a car sparked two world wars and the flapping of a butterfly's wing causes a typhoon on the other side of the globe, what then of your potential when compared to these petty causes? After all, Allah has given you the finest form. He said, لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي أَحْسَنِ تَقْوِيمٍ We created man in the finest state. Then he honored you yet again over the rest of creation by crowning you with Islam. He said, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ أُولَٰئِكَ هُمْ خَيْرُ الْبَرِيَّةِ Those who believe and do good, they are the best of all beings. So with that said, just imagine what your potential could be if you consciously attempted to set off many butterfly effects on a daily basis, whether at home, the workplace, online, or when spending time outside with friends. To summarize, perhaps in just one sentence, we can say that all of mathematics, physics, history, human experiences, and most importantly, the Quran, are all decisive proofs that a little can be a lot, and that the smallest decisions in your life can have the biggest consequences. The Prophet وسلم, had already communicated this message to us 1400 years ago when he said لا تحقرن من المعروف شيئا ولو أن تلقى أخاك بوجه طلق Do not belittle any good deed Even if it is just meeting your brother with a smiling face This is a hadith which blows the spirit of life into the heart of every lazy being it urges them to live with intentionality, purpose, and drive to work good deeds, regardless of their size and regardless of the coverage, and then to expect the best outcome. How many times has it occurred where a smile or a passing word of encouragement affected a person and sparked a chain of events of growth till they reached unimaginable heights? Similarly, how many times has a bad experience, be it an insult or any moment of humiliation, sparked the degeneration of a person till after the passage of many years landed him or her at an abyss of loss and failure. So the butterfly effect is real and so do not belittle any sin even if you classify it as minor and similarly do not belittle any good deed even if it is just meeting your brother with a smiling face. So every morning let this be one of the very first questions that you pose to yourself. What butterfly effects am I going to trigger on this day to change the course of my future and that of my ummah? This question has already been answered by those who have set for themselves the regular target of memorizing or teaching an ayah of the Quran on a daily basis, they don't belittle it. According to the butterfly effect, this simple action of theirs shall inshallah unleash a wave of good deeds on a prospective date known to Allah. 
Likewise, this question is already answered by those who never give up on making dua to their Lord. Because how many times have their quiet prayers in the depths of the night sparked the chain of events which ended up changing the topography of land and demographics of nations? Furthermore, it's a question that is already answered by teachers who aren't bothered by their small online viewership or the few attendees at their halaqa session, regardless of whether they are held at home or in the masjid or online because they realize that their contributions will flourish in ways that no computer could predict or simulate. And it's also a question that is answered by the heroes of this nation, its mothers, who resist the sustained campaigns against them which seek to belittle their role, but instead they realize that the cradle they rock at home with Allah in mind is to actually produce a progeny who shall rock the thrones of tyrants tomorrow and be their ticket to paradise. Every small good deed which you perform and promote today will become part of a much bigger picture tomorrow. For us as Muslims, the butterfly effect serves as a message that every good deed is a catalyst which draws you nearer to legacy creation and draws our ummah nearer to its recovery. Every Islamic post which you verify and then share, every evening halaqa which you deliver to your small family is reviving and is important. It used to be thought in the past that the events that changed the world were things like big bombs, maniac politicians, huge earthquakes, or vast population movements. But it has now been realized that this is a very old-fashioned view held by people totally out of touch with modern thought. The things that change the world according to chaos theory are the tiny things, I quote. So do what Prophet Ibrahim السلام, did. He put forward his good deed by building the simple structured Kaaba. Then he raised his hands in dua and he said, Rabbana taqabbal minna, our Lord accept this from us. Then realize that when Allah sees sincerity, he gives acceptance. And if he gives acceptance, he sponsors your good deed. And if he sponsors your good deed, he will send it to the four corners of the globe. That is the great manifestation of a butterfly effect. So till the day you die, make a daily effort in creating as many as you can.